every creature. Welcome to the second day of HarmonyCon Online, and I am Riffwing Designs, here to help you start your morning, evening, afternoon, or very late night with some Gamer Luna Yoga. So first off again, welcome. I'm so happy that you took your time this weekend to be here with me and HarmonyCon Online. I am going to be streaming a 45 minute chair yoga session, and I'm gonna be also in the Discord. So if you're not already there and you want to chat by text, it'll be in Star Room chat. I'm not gonna be in Ponyville or on The Voice, just gonna be here on the video with you and also watching the Discord. So shout out to all my friends that are there already. You'll see at the bottom here, we have the suggested playlist. That's gonna be some zen, peaceful My Little Pony music. If there's anything else you wanna to listen to, go ahead. But again, here is the, I'm gonna put it in the Discord chat, the link to your Spotify playlist, so that way we don't have any DCMA issues, right? So first off, that's what we're gonna be doing for the next 45 minutes. And again, I am Riftwing Designs. You can find me as Riftwing Designs anywhere, including Twitch and obviously on Discord. So as we get started here, we're gonna be doing chair yoga. So one of the things, if you've never done yoga before, this is perfect for you. And if you have, you're always welcome to do any additional stretches that you need. So if you're in chat, I'd love to hear if you are new to yoga or if there are any questions that you have and we'll go through those as we get started. I am going to be making sure that one of the things that we do is take time for breaks. So have comfy clothes on, have a nice chair. Now, unfortunately, this is supposed to be gamer Luna yoga. And if you're in one of these nice, like hardcore wheelie gamer chairs, it may not be stable enough for you. So one of the things I'll recommend is that you get a chair that has legs or else lock yourself in. <laughs> and that way you're not wheeling away. We want to be safe here. So the first rule is always be safe. Only do what your body tells you to and only do what is comfortable for you. The second rule is be yourself. If you've seen me as Brass Knuckles before or in any other Rift Wing Designs Yoga, which I do host both on YouTube and here on Twitch, the rule is that you have to find your own version of stretching. And that means don't think you're going to look like me because trust me, nobody else does and you probably don't want to. One of the things that you want to do is do what works for you. So as we do this, I like to use what I call the Bob Ross style, right? There are no accidents. There's only happy little things that can make your life better as long as there's no pain whatsoever. So we're gonna get started now, which means time to get our gamer gear ready. And we're gonna go into our normal chair. Make sure you've got your water nearby. So this is our nice sturdy chair that I've got here. It's kind of boring, but guess what? It's really good for stretching. And then you're gonna wanna have a nice comfy seat. Your feet should be flat on the ground. And we're just gonna start by coming to our attention with our breath. So take a couple breaths, maybe close your eyes and just notice how your body is feeling. Focus on stillness. Maybe roll your shoulders back, find a comfy posture. And I'm gonna talk a little bit quickly about what yoga is, just for those of you that are new to this concept. So the first thing is that yoga isn't just doing stretches, right? It's about a lifestyle. It's been around for thousands of years. And the first is there are rules of do's and don'ts. So you're supposed to be not violent. It's really like the elements of harmony. Be truthful, be honest. Don't steal stuff, do things in moderation. All of that totally jives with the elements of harmony. And then things that you should be doing are keeping yourself clean, healthy, finding a way for you to connect to yourself. And that's what I'll be helping with today. Then there's the postures, which we're gonna be doing. And that's what a lot of people see on social media. So shout out right now to people that can turn themselves into pretzels, but for everybody else, guess what? Yoga is not about turning into a pretzel. It's about connecting with your body, connecting with your mind. So again, think about your breathing as you're listening, feeling how you're feeling, and also calming down, not letting your emotions rule you, right? If you think about Luna and the Tanibus, Luna let those horrible thoughts and feelings come into her mind, and she let them take her over. And that is the exact opposite of what you want. So as Luna Yoga, this is gonna help you to clear some of those bad thoughts and to let go of things that don't serve you anymore. 
And then of course there's meditation as well. And for meditation, it comes down to lots of meditation isn't emptying your mind and sitting still. Although some people like tree hugger can do that. And I have done tree hugger yoga in the past. So that's another good one. Um, and I'm welcome to do yoga at other pony cons. So if you have another one you want me to tell your folks, okay? So with that, we've done our breathing and settled in. We've spent just five minutes going over the basics of yoga. And so now we're going to stop worrying about things. We don't want to feel trapped. So let go of your worry and your fear for the next 40 minutes. And we'll have time for questions at the end again. I do monitor the stream, so I'll be watching out for any questions. Again, no pain, just fun, relaxation, and stretching so that is. <sighs> to start Om, doing meditations. I don't do that, but I will take you through a little warm up. So we're going to take two deep breaths in, and then we're going to draw our hands to our heart center to begin. So take a deep breath in, notice it in your belly, notice how it swells up a little bit, and then exhale out. This time really let it go. <sighs> Don't worry about making it in front of me unless there's somebody. So this is the time for you to go wild because I can't see you. This last deep breath in, we're gonna raise our hands up and do the biggest exhale so far. So inhale up. Draw your hands to your heart center and exhale. Let it all go. <sighs> and while we're here, think about what you want to get out of this session. It's called setting an intention. And right now, my intention that I'll set is to let go. If you have something else you'd like to do, make that now. I'll see if I can get my audio to work well. And again, I am breathing into my microphone, so we'll find out together. Continue to give that feedback. And we're going to begin our session again just by rolling our shoulders back and down. This is chair yoga. So again, if there's any stretches that you want to do, another secret cut, they have to follow the instructions. Do what works. Do what works. So we're going to start just by going shoulders. And what I like to do is four corners. So we'll do forward, up, back, and down. Forward, back, and down. And just find your own pace. Again, there's no wrong speed. There's no wrong position if it feels good to you. And another thing in yoga that we do is we do opposites. So we do balance by going backwards. So go back, up, forward, back, up, forward, and down. And again, if you need to do bigger or smaller circles, do that. And now we're going to do our neck. So come to stillness with your shoulders. Again, make sure you're sitting nice and centered. And then just take your neck and start to just look. Keeping your body straight. Your head. And if you want, you can pause. And just feel it. On an inhale, maybe lengthen. And on an exhale, twist a little more. And then back to center. This is one of my favorite ones. Okay, so we're going to take your head to one ear. And you can stay here. What I like to do is take your nose and pretend you're pointing with it. And follow your nose. And notice how your neck feels. So as you're moving your nose, notice. If there's any tightness, and if there is, you can stay there or you can move your head around a little. 
And if you want, you can take the hand on the same side your head is going and just rest it gently for a little extra pressure. And you can take that opposite hand out and see how you're making a nice long stretching line with your back and your neck. Just breathe into it. So some of the ways that you can relax are just by breathing. You can always close your eyes. And again, you can always hold a pose longer. If it really speaks to you, keep going. But for me, I'm going to release my arms and come back to center. And then go to the other side, head down. Maybe you're going to start here. Maybe again, you use that nose. Ooh. <laughs> that is really tight for me. Another rule is have fun. This isn't totally serious. This isn't, I mean, it could be life changing, but it is about doing what works for you. So now I'm taking the hand on the side of the head and stretching out and just breathing. And maybe moving your neck, but oof, right here, super tight for me. And you'll notice different sides feel differently. And you'll notice that different days it'll feel different. It's kind of crazy. And then let it go. Come back to center. If it's comfortable and you don't have any spinal issues, you can start to do some neck circles. Just slowly, again, noticing those where it sticks and maybe just rock there. And continue to do those. I'm just going to make it a little warmer in here. Here we go. Okay, let's see how everybody's doing. Okay, we'll make sure that mic stays nice and clean for you all. And so now that we've gone through here, we've done our head and our neck and shoulders. We're gonna do some spine stretches. If you've been with me before, I'm gonna do it from the side just so you see what it looks like. Cat and cow. You've probably done these stretches. They are part of yoga. So in cat, you're hunching your back over. And in cow, you're rolling your shoulders back, shining your chest out, and maybe looking up if it's comfortable. And going at your own pace. My secret here is to really focus on the shoulders opening up. And then exhale going in. Focus on the breath. Inhale, open, exhale, fold. And now if you want to do your mat yoga, you are welcome at this point to be doing this on the ground. But this is chair yoga, so we're staying here. And that way anybody who's listening can just take a couple moments to do that. And now maybe if you wanna go side to side, just we're warming up the spine here. So as we're doing that, we're finding what works for you. And that's the best part of this right here, right? Okay, so we've done our spinal stretches and then we're also going to do some arms because we had a suggestion for arms and shoulders. So first we're just gonna do some little, they're like butterflies or snow angels. So inhaling when you raise up, exhale as you go down. Maybe you look up as your hands go up, or maybe you keep your head neutral. And now when you get to the top, keep your hands there and notice this. See my shoulders? If you pull your shoulder blades down, it'll really open up, and that's a huge difference. So try that a couple times. Reach up all the way and then pull those shoulder blades back and down. Good. And now we're going to take both hands and exhale, and we're going to twist to one side. So if you have that chair again, you can grab it. Find your twist. It may not be deep. It may be really deep. <laughs> your spine may crack or pop. As long as there's no pain, you're good. Then inhale up the center, pull those shoulder blades down, and go the other way. Breathing here. So I'm going to give you another couple of seconds. Some people like to do this really fast, back and forth. If you want to warm up and get excited, now is the time to do that. So you can go super fast or you can go super slow. Again, this is your practice, so make it what you can, okay? All right. And wherever you are, come back to stillness here. And then we're going to be doing our 
arm stretches. So here's another fun one. I'm going to turn so you can see it. Take one arm up and put it behind your back if you can. And just use the other arm to hold it. Okay, so we're just doing a little arm and shoulder stretch if it works for you. And then if you are able and want to, you can take that other arm and try to clasp the other hand. If it doesn't work, this hand can hold a shirt or a towel. Um, but the idea is to, this is probably my bad side, the idea is just to clasp your hands. And again, using a t-shirt or a strap will help with that. And if you don't, if you can't do it, guess what? It doesn't matter. It's what works for you. So wherever you are, breathe in that stretch. And then let it out and notice how your arm feels after that. And then we're going to do the other side. So inhale the other arm up and place your arm behind you. Maybe holding the elbow down, keeping the shoulder blades down. And then maybe, oh yeah, this side is my good side. Maybe you can clasp and maybe you can't. I actually had a shoulder injury a year ago and I couldn't do this for quite a while. Again, in yoga, you're finding yourself, finding where you can be today. And it's not going to be the same as anyone else because you are not the same. And that is perfect. Okay. Now that we've done that, we're going to do some chicken dances. I'm going to get Scootaloo in here. So hands on your shoulders, just like you're doing the chicken dance. Use your elbows to guide and make circles. So here's that really good shoulder stretch. And then if you want to sing the song, you can too. Right. And you can try swimming or you can try backstroke. The best part about the way that I practice yoga is that it's fun. You play with it. We're not going to be doing vinyasas and crazy, super fast movements. It's whatever your body wants you to do. So you'll often notice I just kind of do a little stretching like this and that's fine. That's totally fine. And again, you're welcome to join me on Twitch and on YouTube as Rift Wing Designs to see all the other things I'm doing. So we've done our arms, but we need to then start doing obviously our wrists because this is gamer yoga <laughs> and everybody knows the wrists are the worst part. So even if you haven't done anything yet and you're just listening, now is the time to take a wrist break. So first off, shake it out. Remember, I can't see you, so go wild. Shake those arms and shake those wrists and let everything go. <laughs> okay. And now do wrist rolls. Again, if it's comfortable, if you have any wrist issues, only do what your therapists tell you to. But if you're with me, I'm just doing wrist circles one way and the other. Then um, interlace your fingers like this. And first we're gonna do the woobles. I don't know what this is actually called but you lift one elbow and the other. Keep those shoulder blades back and down. And then can you do it the other way? All right. And then stretch it out. Just like this. And if you want here, Again, you can do a little lift above your head and shoulders. Keep those shoulder blades back. And just do what speaks to you. And maybe you do a full circle again. And notice how different it is now that we've really warmed up those shoulders. So we've done this. Now we're going to do the other ones. These are really good. So again, warm up. And this is the Macarena move. So you're taking your hand out. And then you put your other hand on top of it and then gently bend the fingertips back. And you can also hold on to the thumb. It's a different stretch if you bend the thumb and the fingers. So if you see, I'm just giving that a gentle stretch. This is very intense. And again, if you have carpal tunnel, it may be too much. So do what you can. Keep those shoulders back and down. And if you have your desk, pretend this is a desk, you can actually use the desk and then just press. So these are great, great, great gamer break stretches. Okay. Breathing here. And then shake it out. And we're going to do the other side. So again, the hand goes out, opposite hand on top, 
and then you stretch the fingers back, keeping the shoulder blades down, breathing here and maybe using a desk or a table, just stretch it out. Can you believe we've been doing this for 20 minutes already? And then shake it out here. <laughs> Great. So we've done head, shoulders, arms, wrists, and now we're going back to our body. So I'm gonna scooch back just a little bit. And first we're gonna be showing you a forward fold. So a chair forward fold is pretty much the same. You wanna keep your feet flat and then you fold forward. Your feet can be uh, together or separate. There we go. So if they're out and you fold forward, you're gonna go a little deeper. Again, only what your body tells you to. Or if it's together, you can hold on to your legs. And what you wanna do here is let your neck go. If you are able and you want to stand, you can do this standing, okay? Again, there's no rules. I'm just teaching the chair version. So let that neck go. And breathe. Then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, come all the way up. Roll those shoulders back. And just notice how you're sitting now. And then we're gonna do twists again. So twist one way. And then the other. And find any other movements that you need for your back warm up. And what I want to show you now is a pose called Eagle Pose because while Luna doesn't have Philomena, I'm sure she has some sort of an awesome eagle, right? Or else I'm totally forgetting it. You can put it in the chat. <laughs> So we're gonna do eagle pose. What that means is we're gonna take one leg, so I'm gonna take my right leg, and I'm gonna put it over the left. And so the right leg is over, which means that you're going to put your hands up, and you're going to put your right arm under. And you're twisting. So what I like to do is put your hands out like an X, lift it up, and then you can try and put your arms together. So you make an X together. And if you can, you can take your hands and wrap them. The idea is to just do a little twist. Shoulders back and down. And then unravel. Take your other leg, put it on top. And this time the same leg that's on top that arm goes under and the other one goes over and you make an X, lift it up and twist. So it looks like this. This is eagle pose. You can do it standing and if you're standing, you try to balance on one leg and then go into a chair like pose. But again, these are all things you can learn and you can do what calls to you but we're not gonna do all that fancy stuff in this session again. Look for me to do some more yoga next weekend on Riffwind Design on Twitch. Okay, looks like we're doing all right. So next we're going to get into our quad stretches. So we're gonna be doing some legs. You may wanna stand for this or you can do it seated, okay? Again, find what works for you. So first off, if you're in your chair, and you are able to, and there's like, again, notice this is the like vanilla chair, so I can grab my ankle here and do a quad stretch. Just like this. So I'm sitting on the edge of my chair and I'm just doing this, grabbing my ankle and pulling it back. Leg is down, feet are up. And if this feels weird and you can stand, do it standing. All it is is balancing on one foot and then holding it. And if you are balancing, look at I'm holding this chair. There's no shame in holding the chair, the wall, the desk. And we're going to do the other leg. So if you're with me, you scooch to the other side. 
and you pull up your leg and you just stretch here or if you're standing find your balance notice how far your leg goes you don't have to kick your butt <laughs> okay And so now again, this can be standing or seated. We're gonna do some lunges. So if you have that folding chair, a lunge is generally where one foot is in front of the other and you're standing like this. But on a chair, you can just stay on the chair and step back. See here? So I'm sitting on the chair and I'm finding the, the leg that is facing forward is bent at a 90 degree angle and just find where your leg was. So remember we were just doing this? Now you're trying to step back, and this is going to give you a big groin stretch. Again, only do what works for you. Only do what's comfortable, no pain. Keep your body, if you can, twisted and facing forward. And your hands can be on your legs, or you can do them up. Now this looks like yoga, doesn't it? Wherever you are, breathe. And again, if you're standing, just doing a standing lunge. Good. Maybe play around with putting your arms in a different position. Rolling your shoulders back and just seeing how things are going. Okay. Now we're going to do the other side. So you can turn around on your chair. Uh, that's this leg. <laughs> so for me, it's the leg that's closest to the back of the chair that's forward. So again, just like we had started before, now you step back finding how you can stretch your legs doing what's comfortable for you keeping the chest facing forward breathing did you ever know you could do this on a chair move your arms keep the shoulders back and down and breathe and again if you're standing find what works for you low lunge crescent lunge knees up knees down this is your practice, make it yours. And wherever you are, we're gonna come back to center and we're gonna do another forward fold, okay? So even out, whether you're standing or sitting, and then go into that fold and hold here for just a moment, breathing. Okay. And then come back up. And we're also going to show you one way if you can get up out of your chair to do a down dog, which is one of the more traditional yoga poses. So you can do it on the front or the back of your chair. A down dog on the ground, I'll just show you, is when you're in your forward fold, you can put your hands down, walk it out, and you turn the V. But not everyone can do an inversion. So to do it on a chair, you can place your hands on the seat See how I've already got that L shape? And then you lower your head and chest to where works for you. Like this. Or if this is too deep, you use the back of your chair. And just fold in, letting your chest go through, stretching your shoulders and your legs here. And you can walk your legs forward or backward. And this is where the chair will roll away. <laughs> so safely finding a way to stretch that chest and breathe. And if this doesn't work for you, just do a forward fold. Okay. So that was a little different. Now we're going to go back and I should do it here. We're going to do some footsies. <laughs> Who wants to do footsies with Princess Luna? Okay. So for footsie stretches, first off, we're going to do, I'm just lifting high so you can see, but we're going to do ankle rolls. So Lift one foot just a little off the ground and do ankle rolls. Notice where it cracks. <laughs> Notice if it's tight. And then the other one. And then let's do an airplane stretch. So if you're ever on an airplane again, which will happen, trust me, one of the things you can do is lift on your tippy toes and then lower. So your toes are on the ground and you're just lifting your heels. I'm trying to show you, but I'm a little bit further out than I'd like. Maybe like this. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Again, let me know if you can't see anything or you need more explanation. So I'm just lifting up my heels. 
stretching those ankles. And now maybe do one at a time, like you're walking. And your arms can be wherever, shoulders back or down. If you want to look really funny, you can do it with a T pose, right? You do this in a meeting online, people will really laugh, but hey, this is computer stretches. It's really good to keep your body moving, make sure that your lower body also moves. Because everybody knows the lower back especially can get super sore when you're gaming too long, right? <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do one more set of more vigorous poses and then we're gonna cool down and we'll have time for some questions. So we're gonna do warriors. So warriors are another type of traditional yoga pose. And it is the same as what we were doing with the lunges except a little higher. So when you're doing a warrior pose, again, the you're going to have a forward leg. <laughs> you're going to have a forward leg. <laughs> and then you're doing that same lunge to start. Your arms are definitely going to be coming up this time and roll them back. And then you open. So this is similar to warrior one. You open your chest, and this is giving you a big, big twist. And your arms go out and you should be looking over your front fingers that are in the same direction as the leg that's stretching out you can look back the idea is for your arms to be parallel and if you're standing here you go your warrior two breathing here and if this is too much again find a pose that works for you we're going to do reverse warrior so if we're here the back hand goes on your leg flip the palm of the forward arm and then look up Again, only what's comfortable for you, but the idea is to do a little mini back bend. Breathing here. Look how beautiful this is. And then come back to warrior two. Plant your hand on your front thigh and we do an extended side angle. And those are the warrior flows that are done in normal yoga just with a chair. So now we're gonna flip back, come to center, go through our modified flow by going into your forward fold or down dog. Breathing for a moment. And then turning to the other side, starting with your lunge. Arms up, shoulders back, chest parallel facing forward. And then spin out, opening your arms, facing your chest, to the side now, look at your front arm, look at your back arm, balance them out, and then focus your gaze on the front middle finger, shoulders back and down, breathing here, your modified warrior two. From here, one more breath, and then lower your back arm down to your leg, flip the palm of your front hand, and raise it up, looking up, doing a mini back bend in your reverse warrior. Breathe. Maybe your gaze is up, or maybe you find something that works for you. And then come back down. Your front arm rests on your front knee, and you sweep your back arm forward, making extended side angle. Sweet. I feel like Shining Armor is doing this in his little avatar there in the chat and then unwind yourself go through your flow do another forward fold take a drink if you need to because I'm sorry to say we've only got a little bit longer to go and we will okay great everybody's doing good so we've gone through a whole bunch already. We've done full body stretches. We've done how to do lunges and down dogs in both chair poses, and we've gone through a mini warrior flow. So if at any time you wanted to do more of these, keep going. If you want to do a real flow because you've got a yoga mat, do it. You don't have to follow me. This is your practice, remember? So now we're going to do some leg stretches, and I just want to show you a couple really fun ones. And then we're going to start to cool down, which is the best part of yoga. There is actually nap time in yoga. <laughs> so we're going to do figure fours. Figure fours are, again, it's going to be a big leg stretch. So we warmed up our legs using those warrior poses. For a normal figure fours in chair, 
you're going to take one leg and place the ankle above the knee of the opposite leg. So you're actually making a four shape. There you go, with your legs. Um, from here, you want that leg, that foot that is down to be at that 90 degree angle. And you're just gently press the lifting knee if you can. Again, no pain, no pain. So this doesn't work for everyone. If it doesn't, find something that works for you. So you can sit here. You can fold forward over it, and that really intensifies this lower back and bottom area, and that is really good for your gamer. And I'm going to show you another option. Again, if you have that table in front of you, if you're at your desk, so pretend this is my desk and there's a plane here. If you're able to stand and able to put your leg up, you can actually make that figure four resting your leg and your shin on the table. And this is an amazing stretch. I love doing this at work. Just make sure your standing knee is not locked. And you can even do a forward fold over your desk like this. One of my coworkers calls this the flamingo pose because it looks like you're a flamingo standing at the desk, but when you have a standing desk job, it can feel really good if you've been there for many hours. <laughs> I'm glad you're all getting flexible. So wherever you are, untwist your figure four. And again, if you wanna do it on the ground, you can do a figure four, you can do a pigeon. This is also where pigeon pose comes in, if you have that in your practice. Wherever you are, again, straighten up, sit nice and tall and then take the other leg taking the ankle placing it near the knee but not on the knee opening up pressing down maybe just gently into that raised knee and if you want from here you can forward fold or you can sit up or you can find what works for you breathing into it noticing that big deep stretch through your leg and apparently I'm not a princess anymore <laughs> goodbye horn and wherever you are, if you want to try that desk one now, let's do it on this side. So that same leg, raising up, using the desk for balance, placing your leg there, and just gently finding, if you can do your flamingo pose, Okay, and then shake it out. The last one we're gonna do is a mini back bend. So a lot of times in yoga, you will notice that they do a certain type of flow. So you start breathing, you do the exercises, you cool down, you go onto the floor, you do some stretches. So if there's anything else you wanna do actively, now is the time to do it. And then we're going to go into our mini back bend. So if you have a ground back bend that you wanna do, go ahead. And if you're with me, we're going to do camel. So this is going to be a modified camel. Your feet are flat, sitting up straight. Put your hands on your back. Maybe you have to scooch up in your chair a little bit. And just arch your back slightly. This is the first option, the most gentle of the camel poses. Maybe you lift your head. Over here. The closer your elbows get, the deeper the stretch in the shoulder blades. And if you want from here, you can even arch further back and place your hands on the chair behind you. So for me, I have my fingers pointing away from my body. If it feels better to have your wrists facing in, do that. And maybe if it's comfortable for your neck, you can let your head drop. Breathe here. And if you have your head dropped, when you're ready to come out, tuck that chin for safety. Tuck that chin in and come back up. And maybe you need to do some cat cows or maybe you need a forward fold to close that deep, deep, deep back bend. Okay. All right, we've got a question in chat, which I can do now. So now I know how to do down dog, but what about up dog? Well, up dog is actually very similar to camel. I'll show you what it looks like on the ground. 
So when you do a flow in yoga, and again, you can see some of these in my other videos on YouTube. So you've got your down dog. When you push forward through a push up and keep your legs up, lifting your chest, that's considered up dog. So what would that be for chair yoga? Well, I'd say it's either camel or if you're doing this, up dog would be more of like this. So now I'm pressing into the chair doing another kind of back bend, which is just like camel. So if you want, you can try that now. So I'm just placing my hands down, stepping back, and then I allow my body to shift back using my wrists and shoulders, keeping them strong. Okay, so this is like a modified up dog. You can also do it on the wall. I do a whole video on wall yoga where you're here and you can do your down dogs and your up dogs on the wall. So if you haven't seen it yet, again, follow me. I am Rift Wing Designs everywhere. <laughs> and I have a lot of really neat workshops on using assistance like blocks, straps, doing self-massage, doing wall yoga, and pillow yoga, sleepy yoga, which is awesome. <laughs> there isn't really a side dog, but there are side planks, which we're definitely not going to get into because we only have another 20 minutes to go, and I want you to start to relax. So good questions, good questions. Let's breathe now, start to cool down. We've gone through our full exercise and I'm going to give you some options for rest. So as I mentioned, all of these aid yogas that are on Rift Wing Designs on both Twitch, YouTube, everywhere, they go through a lot of options and ways to rest. In yoga, it's called Savasana, your final relaxation pose. You guys are so punny in the chat. I love it. <laughs> so one of the things we do in Savasana, final relaxation pose, is find a way to rest. In chair yoga, you can either do that just by flopping back in your chair. If you've got your gamer chair, usually it's got a really good all the way back relaxation. You can do that. Or if you're able, you can use your desk or your chair. And I'm telling you it's okay, but again, house rules. You can put your feet up on the desk or the chair. Get nice and cozy, right? Or if you want, you can do a traditional savasana, which is where you lay flat on the ground, maybe using blankets or pillows to cover up or cool down as you want. So wherever you are, just, you know, relax. I'm going to walk you through a guided meditation to help you to find peace and comfort. So as we begin to cool down, find that relaxation pose, whether it's seated or laying down, covered with a blanket. If there's any other movements that you need to become comfortable, do those now. Close your eyes. And just notice how your body feels. How different do your arms and your shoulders feel? Maybe start to scrunch up the muscles in your fingers and your arms and then let it go. Maybe do some breathing. Scrunch it in and just let it go. And then notice your legs and your toes. Notice how different they feel and maybe roll your ankles one more time scrunch your toes and your ankles and your legs really tight and then let it go and one more time scrunch your legs and your toes really tight and then let it go and then take your whole body and scrunch everything up including your head and face really really tight and then let it go and breathe deeply turn your focus inward Keeping your eyes closed, I'm going to give you about three minutes of silence, in which time you can return to breathing. This is your final rest where you absorb the benefits of your practice. If your thoughts wander, bring them back to your breath or your intention. Okay, which for mine was to.
find your peace. And I will call you. Again, if you notice your thoughts wandering, bring them back to your breath. You have one more minute of peace. And wherever you are, if you want to stay here, go right ahead. If you're coming with me, I'm going to tell you one more thing and then we're going to start to move. So stay where you are and consider this. In Do Princesses Dream of Magic Sheep, Princess Luna enlists the main six to hunt down that cannabis we mentioned in the beginning. Realizing that the Tanibus was feeding off her guilt, Twilight and friends rallied around Luna and told her to forgive herself. With her friend's help, Luna moved on from her past. She let go of her fears and her guilt. You can do that too. While no amount of guilt can solve the past and no amount of anxiety can change the future, I hope this practice gave you peace to help you to move forward and let go. Work to do good and be yourself and do what you can. It will be enough. You are enough. Begin to bring small movements back into your body. Maybe rolling those wrists and ankles, maybe going to a big body stretch and breathing deeply and maybe come back to a comfortable seat, rolling those shoulders back and down, feeling reinvigorated after that intense yoga practice that you all shared with me. So thank you again. We're going to finish our practice the way we began with one breath.
and then the deep final breath. So wherever you are, again, roll those shoulders back and down. Inhale, hands up and exhale down. Roll the shoulders back, plant your hands and take a deep breath in and let it go. The next one, really let go. Inhale and exhale loudly. And now inhale, arms up. Exhale, last one. Let it all go. Draw your hands to heart center. And I thank you again for being here with me. So as we seal our thoughts, take your thumb knuckles and place your hands on your forehead. The saying of the yogis is the light and love in me honors and thanks the light and love and friendship in all of you. And I thank you for joining me for Luna Chair Yoga here at HarmonyCon Online. Go in peace and have fun. Namaste.